So people that do keto believe that carbs are evil. And if you believe carbs are evil, you might also believe in unicorns, or that the earth is flat, or that Donald Trump spray tans his skin with Cheeto dust. All right, let's talk about why I hate keto. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee first. It'll calm my nerves. So it's not that I hate a high fat diet. There are many people out there that do really, really well on a high fat diet. The problem I have with keto isn't the macronutrients, it's the mindset. So people that do keto believe that carbs are evil. And if you believe carbs are evil, you might also believe in unicorns, or that the earth is flat, or that Donald Trump spray tans his skin with Cheeto dust. So the fundamental problem is in false beliefs, not macronutrients. If you do really well on a high fat diet, more power to you but you can't operate on a high fat diet thinking that carbs are evil. If you understand that carbs are a fuel source and you can eat them whenever you want, but they're probably not the best fuel source for you, I'm cool with that. But that's like 1% of people. Most people that do keto do not understand that. And that's the problem I have with the ketogenic diet. The other problem I have is that most people really aren't even doing a ketogenic diet. They're just eating high fat. Did you know that a ketogenic diet is between 90 and 95% fat? That means that 90 to 90% of your calories are coming from fat, which leaves no more than 10% room for protein, which is also very important, and virtually no room for carbohydrates. And that includes vegetable carbohydrates. Because remember, even low carb vegetables are carbs. I can't tell you how many messages I've gotten from people that are eating 15% carbohydrates that all come from very good sources of vegetables that are frustrated because they're not following the keto approach. Again, this is the problem that I have. It's a mindset. Here's a better idea for those that want to do a high fat diet. Get 60% of your calories from fat. Get 20 to 25 from protein and then leave the rest for low carb vegetables. See how that works for you. If that doesn't work, adjust things accordingly. You know, that's another thing I don't like about keto. I don't like rigid macronutrient profiles. Everything should be flexible. That's why for my clients, I give a range. For protein, it's anywhere between 25 and 30. And then for carbs and fats, it's an absolute toss up based on that person's preference. So one of the things I'll ask him is, do you like fats more than carbs? Some people say yes, some people say no. And then I customize their macronutrient profiles to fit that. But I'm never afraid to adjust things to the person's needs because it's their life and their eating not mine. So when calories are controlled and you know how many calories you need to consume, from there, working with a macronutrient profile that works best for you is really the freedom you need, not some ketogenic diet. I hope that made sense. If you're going to change the way you think about the ketogenic diet, let me know in the comments section down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or a heart. And if you know somebody who's frustrated with the ketogenic diet or needs their brain scrambled, make sure you share this video with them. Have a good one. Thank you.